What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. I'm back here with another video. Now, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, I am talking about 2K24. As we all know, these are the end times for 2K23. 2K23 has come to an end. Let me know in the comment section how y'all 2K23 experience was. For me on next gen, it was uh, it was alright. But I want to talk about some of the things that they need to fix or tweak or some things that they really need to go over. As we know, it's about to be July next week when this video drops, basically. But as of right now, in the state of this game, it's, oh lord, it's, it's down. But that's what every 2K, we always say this every year, 2K need to do this, 2K need to do that. What can they do to improve? Some things I would recommend, well, one of the things I recommend is really just work on the gameplay. All the other stuff, you know, it look cool and fancy, but ain't nobody gonna wanna grind on a game that's not playable. Nobody wants to do that. Now, one of the things I mean about the gameplay is defense, dunking, and like paint defense and defense in general is just crazy. It's, it's just ridiculous. Paint defense is the worst it has been I've seen. Like, it, like a lot of people say the paint defense in this game is worse than 21. And I can believe it. When I tell you the paint defense in this game is terrible, it is terrible. It's ridiculous. They need to work on it. I don't know why every time it gets decent at the beginning of the game when the game drops. But then as we continue to play it, they make minor patches that they don't say that us as players, we know if the game is different or not. Like even in this gameplay right here, I just put a random gameplay. But if you was playing Wreck in Season 8, at the passing lanes was crazy. You could get crazy passing lane steals. Before, that was not happening. I don't know what they did, but they updated it. When randoms get the craziest, you can't pass the ball down the court. If you was launching it and your teammate on a fast break, you cannot pass the ball. I promise you, it's almost a steal every time. I look at that. That's a steal. But if I try to do it, it's not going to happen. But they let the randoms get anything. I don't know why they tweak stuff and don't tell people, but if they want to tweak some, tweak the paint defense, make it good. I mean, decent, something. Please, everybody just rim run. Stop, go, going, dunk. Everybody look good in this game. You can't tell the difference between nobody. I understand people say that, oh, I mean, because of the build. I understand that, bro, but I know people that had the same build as me back in the day, and I was cooking it. I don't know what it is now. Like, the, the gameplay is just crazy. And they bail any, anyone out. Like, it's crazy. Like, even if you play play now on All Star Team, like, you can't go on a fast break. You can't do that. They did add All Star Team up back in the game, too. I don't know why it's on Courage, but not on Next, but they need to add All Star Team up back in the game, too. But yeah, like I was saying, if you're playing defense on somebody and you get a tip pass, you're not going to get the ball. I don't know why you don't get the ball, but they need to fix that. And you have to continue to play defense. Like, say, for instance, I took a pass on defense. Guess what? If I don't continue to play defense, they will get a free bucket. Like, instantly, they always get the ball back. It's the dumbest thing in the world. I don't even understand how that works. And they also need to fix rebounding. This is the worst rebounding 2K I have played by far. And I've been playing for over 10 years. I like to get rebounds. I like to play defense. That's why my play style is different. I like to pass the ball. I like to get assists. I like to play defense. I like to get rebounds. Most people can't rebound better than me. I'm a good rebounding guard, as I would say for myself. But in this game, the rebounds, I don't know what they did to them, but this is the worst rebound the 2K hands down. I don't understand if somebody shoots a shot. Why do they shoot the ball and the ball bounces from the rim? to almost the three-point line. That's not even realistic. You know how bad of a brick that gotta be in real life? For somebody to shoot the ball, and it, like, look at that. Like, at least he caught it that time. But most of the time, the ball will bounce the other way or farther. Like, it's stupid, and you'll have the opponent boxed out. So it's like, if I got him boxed out, and the rebound goes over my head, like, how are they still getting it? That's dumb. That's stupid. That's another thing they need to fix. And let's talk about people being bums in the wreck. I understand people are bad, but you can't even hurt their feelings in the wreck. This is a clear example in this gameplay. Our teammate, just because he was not getting the ball, decided to stand out of bounds. 
They need to be kicked out for that. Look at Buddy in the corner. He's literally trying to sell us the game. Look at him. They both standing out of bounds, and we're getting penalized for it. Why am I getting penalized? And they not getting kicked out the game for getting multiple turnovers after turnover after turnover for literally selling. This needs to be addressed. This it, this makes the game toxic, and then they wonder why people don't play it. Like, like how can I have fun when – Dude on my team crying because he can't score. I give him the ball, he still can't score. What you want me to do, bro? I'm not going to keep giving you the ball you can't score. I'm just not going to do that. Because me, I can go get a bucket. You can't. Like, I don't understand that. I done had one dude talking about passing me the ball. I'm a star. Bro, what? You not even that good. But anyway, he was selling the game for me too. They got to fix that or address it or something. If you stand out of bounds or get that turnover Three times in a row, two to three times, you should be kicked from the game immediately. Ain't no if, no ands, or buts, because they will literally sell the game. You don't know how many times this has happened to me running into the random wreck. Because as it is, some it's hard to find teammates on next gen sometimes. So you might go on the wreck with randoms, but then if they sell you, but this does not make the experience fun. It makes the experience terrible, bad. Nobody would want to play this. They need to fix that. Defense, I mean, I don't understand why they keep buffing it. Defense at the beginning of this game was decent. It was playable, but now it's non-existent almost. People can have Hall of Fame glove, and they still can't rip a guard. Some can, some don't. I don't know why they tweaked it. I don't know why. Just because people can't dribble, I don't understand. Like, they do that every year. Every year for the start of 2K, defense is good, and they always tweak it and patch it. I don't know why. Like, they just got to do something else. And I don't know what they might do for C. I don't think they bring in season back next year. They might. If they do, who who cares, really, even though people not really going to grind it. They might grind the game if it's the rep reward, actually with good rep rewards, or it's an actual, actual rep system. Now, if it's an actual rep system, people might play the game. But, you know, people be talking for real, for real. I ain't really trying to chat about all that. I'm going to play 2K regardless because that's just what I do, you feel me? I like dropping people off. That's what I do. I like dropping people off for fun, you feel me? But they need to address pain defense. People selling you like dude in the corner over there on cold. They need to address that. They need to address defense. They need to address dunking. Everybody, I understand dunking. And quick drops. I understand people can dunk, bro. But that quick drop package is just crazy. If they get on your hip and they... Press the square button from the free throw line with Hall of Fame Limitless. Oh, it's wraps. It shouldn't be like that. There's no way anybody is jumping from the free throw line. Every play. I understand people get dunks. Yeah, I. Right. But quick drops, bro, they either got to make the rating higher to unlock it or something. Where everybody couldn't get it. And you got to, like, really have slashing, slashing on your build. Not just partially decent, good slashing. You should have, like, a high rating slashing. Just like you have out there, I have a high rating to unlock limitless takeoff on Hall of Fame. It, I guess that tier should be raised higher. And please fix paint defense. Please. Please. Like, bro, people with Hall of Fame anchor is getting dunked on. And they got silver limitless takeoff. Like, that makes no sense to me. It makes no sense at all. But that's just some of the things I feel like that they should fix for NBA 2K24. Even though as of right now, the game is, they really testing the game. They could probably gonna have community day in probably like a few weeks, probably like early August. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video from me. As you can see by the gameplay, we ended up winning this. It's old footage, real for real. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video, man. You feel me? It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We still out here grinding, man, like always. And I'm out.